Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you on a tour of Santorini, Greece, with 10 places to visit when you're here. I'll also go into some of the island's history about the ancient people who once called this place home. Santorini's history begins in the Bronze Age, between approximately 3000 and 2000 BC. The island was once home to the Minoan civilization, which was arguably one of the most advanced and sophisticated of its time. The Minoans built magnificent palaces, created beautiful artwork, and had a thriving economy based on trade. But around 1600 BC, something cataclysmic happened. A massive volcanic eruption devastated the island and brought an end to the Minoan civilization. The eruption was one of the largest in recorded history and it is believed to have caused a tsunami that destroyed much of the surrounding areas. After the eruption, the island was uninhabited for many years until the Phoenicians arrived around the 9th century BC after the collapse of the Bronze Age and toward the start of the Iron Age. They established a trading post on the island and named it Kaliste, which means most beautiful in Greek. Over the centuries, Santorini was ruled by a variety of different empires and kingdoms, including the Romans, the Byzantines, and even the Venetians. Each of these groups left their mark on the island and contributed to its unique culture and architecture. Now that you have a brief understanding of the island's history, let's explore Santorini. Our tour begins at the Akrotiri archaeological site. One of the most important historical sites on the island, this ancient Minoan city was buried by the volcanic eruption around 1600 BC and was only rediscovered in the 1960s. The site has been carefully excavated and preserved where you can get a fascinating glimpse into what life was like for the ancient Minoan people. One of the most impressive discoveries at Akrotiri was a three-story building dubbed the West House. This gem features elaborate wall paintings, including a famous fresco of two blue monkeys as well as a bathroom with a bathtub and flushing toilet, believe it or not. Next, let's explore ancient Thera. Located near the southeastern part of the island, this Greek ancient city was founded in the 9th century BC and was inhabited until the 7th century AD. Built by the Dorian Greeks, the city was named after Theras, a Spartan who led a group of colonists to Santorini. The city was built on a steep slope and its buildings were arranged in terraces made of local stone. Some were even adorned with colorful frescoes. One of the most impressive structures at ancient Thera was the gymnasium, which was used for physical training and education. Today you can explore these ruins and imagine the once great civilization that lived here. So now let's take a trip over to Fira, the capital of Santorini. Located on the west side of the island, the town sits on the edge of the caldera offering stunning views of the Aegean Sea and Volcano. Fira can be a busier spot since it's a popular destination to visit. Here you'll find a variety of shops, restaurants, and cafes. And if you're looking for some nightlife, this is a place to be. One of the main attractions in Fira is the cable car ride that connects the town to the old port. Take a ride down the cliffside for panoramic views of the caldera and beautiful seascape. Or if you prefer travel by donkey, that's a thing here. That's right, you can journey down the steps of Fira on donkey back. And to scratch that history itch of yours, you can visit the Museum of Prehistoric Thera, which showcases the history and culture of the island from prehistoric times to the 17th century. You can also check out the Archaeological Museum of Santorini for a collection of ancient artifacts that were excavated on the island. Let's move on to the village of Ia, located near the northern tip of Santorini, where you can explore the ruins of the Venetian castle. Ia is known for its stunning sunsets, labyrinth-style alleyways, and traditional cycladic architecture. The village is perched on the edge of the caldera, offering breathtaking views of the Aegean Sea and volcano. Famous for its whitewashed buildings and blue domed roofs, narrow cobblestone streets, colorful flowers, and deep blue skies, you'll be in photographer's paradise. If you're up for a hike and love immersing yourself into historical places with ruins, definitely go and explore the remains of the Venetian castle. The castle was built on one of the highest points on the island for clear views of incoming enemies such as pirates and dates back from the time of Venetian rule of the island in the 13th century. You can explore this place on your own without any entrance fees and there is no signage on site. 
the castle was used as a lookout post for many centuries. You might also consider visiting the Naval Maritime Museum, which showcases the maritime history of Santorini and the Aegean Sea. Take a dive into the island's seafaring paths, see models of traditional boats, and explore the history of navigation and shipbuilding. Which way to the beach? The Red Beach. The Red Beach is one of the most famous on the island of Santorini and is named after its distinctive red volcanic sand. The beach is surrounded by towering red cliffs and offers visitors a unique and beautiful place to relax and soak up the sun. You'll find it on the southern coast of Santorini close to Akrotiri. It's an interesting place to explore the area's geology and think about the major turning point in the island's history, the volcanic eruption that sadly destroyed the ancient Minoan civilization. The famous red beach is composed of black and red pulverized volcanic rock from the nearby Santorini caldera. The red color comes from the iron-rich rocks that have been exposed from geologic activity like earthquakes and volcanoes. Just be careful of potential landslides as these have occurred enough in the past. And for some more beach fun, let's jump over to the white beach. This one is also unique. Known for its white pebbles and crystal clear waters, the beach can be accessed by boat or on foot through a path that starts from the nearby Campia Beach, adding to its exclusivity and charm. If you're looking for unique beauty with privacy and amazing surroundings, you might consider exploring the white beach. In fact, the sand is not white as you might expect from its name. The sand is actually grey, pulverized volcanic rock with black pebbles that contrast the white rocky cliff formations. The coast is excellent for swimming with crystal clear and shallow waters. But expect to visit this place on your own without any amenities. If you're looking for some fun exploration off the beaten path, this one's for you. Next, we're checking out Pyrgos Village. Once the capital of Santorini, you'll find this to be quite the gem that's often overlooked. If you're not a fan of crowds, you'll be pleasantly surprised by its quieter atmosphere. Located in the center of Santorini, Pyrgos is known for its picturesque narrow streets, whitewashed buildings, and stunning panoramic views of the island. Here you can explore several iconic landmarks including the Church of Pyrgos and the remains of the medieval Venetian Castelli Castle. Don't forget to sample some of the local delicacies such as fava and tomato keftids with a glass of red wine. And that's the perfect segue for visiting the Santa Winery next. A popular winery on the island, you'll find it near the village of Pyrgos. Join in on a tasting experience and enjoy the beautiful countryside with stunning views of the sea. When you visit, you'll have the option to choose between different tasting experiences like the classic tasting, a cheese and wine pairing, or a sunset tasting. Each tasting experience includes a selection of wines accompanied by local cheeses and hors d'oeuvres as well as a knowledgeable guide to lead you through your tasting experience. And if you love seafood, you're in for a treat in the small fishing village of Amudi Bay. Located on the northwest coast, you can experience a more authentic side of Santorini. Here, you can escape the crowds and enjoy a quieter atmosphere with beautiful crystal clear waters and picturesque surroundings. To get to Amudi Bay, you'll need to descend a steep staircase from the nearby village of Ia, so be sure to have a good pair of walking shoes. The stairs are lined with small shops and tavernas selling local crafts, snacks, and refreshments. When you reach the bottom, you'll be greeted by a small harbour filled with fishing boats and sailboats. Take a stroll along the waterfront and dine at one of the many tavernas that specialize in freshly caught seafood, including octopus, squid, and fish. You can opt for traditional Greek dishes like moussaka and souvlaki as well. For the active swimmers, divers, and cave explorers, this place is also for you. There are several sea caves and rocky cliffs that are popular spots to explore and dive from. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Santorini thus far. As our last destination on the island, I'd like to take you to the traditional village of Megalakori, located on the southwest coast. The name Megalakori means big village in Greek, and it was once one of the largest villages on the island. Today, it's a peaceful and quiet place to experience a more authentic side of Santorini. If you're into winemaking, you can explore the winery, Vanetsanos, and you'll notice that the village of Megalakori is close to our previously toured Santa winery. This coastal area is excellent for growing the perfect grapes for the perfect wine. You might also want to trek over to the historic chapel of Agios Nikalos, which dates back to the 17th century. The chapel is known for its beautiful frescoes and its bell tower, one of the tallest on the island. And there you have it, 10 places to explore when you're in Santorini, Greece. From ancient ruins to the stunning beaches and picturesque villages, Santorini has something for everyone. I hope this video has inspired you to plan your own visit to this amazing place. And if you like my video, please kindly hit that like, subscribe, and notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. 
And if you have any destinations you'd like to hear about next, leave a comment below. See you next time!